I am going to explain you about this particular product called as the digital time switch. This is called as Quart time switch and the model name is Q double T SB two forty zero one. This is how the product's front panel looks like. See in the front panel, what all you can see is one is the LCD display. Next to that. you have two switches here this is for setting the clock timings the real time clock can be set using these two track switches below that you have a program switches this is to set the program when the load should come on by using these two switches you can set here next to that you have something called as the thumb wheel switch it has got nine modes you can position it into different modes by moving like this over the thumb by positioning it in 0 or 9 0 or 9 you can set the clock timings the real time clock can be set using this positioning it in 0 or 9 by pressing these two top buttons you can set the clock hours and clock minutes and by positioning it in 1 you can set the program timings means to say that what time the load should be on you have to position it in one and set the timings let us say you want to set it at evening 6 o'clock you have to position it in one and using these two buttons here you have to set the 6 o'clock timings here and what duration it has to be on again positioning it in two you have to set the duration let us say you want to set 12 hours duration that is from evening 6 to morning 6 you can set this timings using these two tack switches similarly you can program for the other timings also it has got four programs you can set four programs when you keep it in the position 1 and 2 this is the first set of program when you are keeping it in 3 and 4 it is the second set of program when you positioning it in the 5 and 6 it is the third set of program when you are positioning it in 7 and 8 it is the fourth set of program or if you have one program you can just program it for one set and make the other remaining sets as zero so this is how the front panel looks like and there is one more button called as the manual switch here by pressing this button immediately you can on the time switch or reading the program in the manual mode If if you again want to go back to the program mode, again press this button, and the uh, switch is uh, back into the program mode, and it will come on according to the set time. This is how the front panel looks like. The coming to the side panel, this is how the side panel uh, looks like, and here in the side panel, there is a description about the product specifications. What is the source voltage that you have to apply for this product? what is the contact rating of this product and what is the start time range and duration and you have the uh, uh, program log that is p1 and p2 clock set if you short it you make it program enable if you remove the short you are making the disabling the program this is how the side panel looks like coming to the back terminal this is how the back terminal looks like it has got two terminals to connect the source that is if you are applying 240 volts you have to connect two wires to these two terminals here down you have this again p1 and p2 this is when you are shorting it by this link provided here you are making this product to enable for the programming if you remove the link you are disabling disabling the program so that no one can program this product next to that this is where you connect to the load this has got one relay output is called as common nc and no common normally close and no three terminals are there and there are two screws here by removing these two screws you have to place the cell the caps can be opened using this i'll show you in the next uh, video how removing this and how to place the battery here. so this is how the back panel looks like so this is about the overall description how the product looks like what is its front panel uh, Uh, displays are there and what are the descriptions on the product this is how the product looks
now let us move on to how to connect this product how to wire this product to the load now let us move on to the wiring of this product first thing what you have to do in this product is you have to this is the back cover you have to remove this two screw here removing by just removing these two screws here this is how you have to remove the screws here we recommend to use Duracell batteries to have the longer life and you have to insert the batteries like this just look at the polarity and you can close the panel you have to close the panel like this here you have to just close the panel and unscrew you have to close the panel so first be ensure that you are going to insert the battery and closing the battery here 